If you're a victim of domestic violence, I want you to know that there is hope and you can um, leave this situation, okay? But you need to understand uh, the cycle of domestic violence. There's abuse, um, which can be physical, emotional, or a sexual combination of all of them. You know, after that comes guilt, and after that is rationalization, okay? That is when the abuser blames the victim for his or her behavior. Uh, common excuses usually revolve around the abuser being intoxicated or as abused as a child or, or you know, they don't know why they're like this, but they make you feel guilty, so you stay, okay? And then um, after that stage is called normal behavior. During this stage, the abuser may use different tactics to achieve their goal to regain power over the victim. The abuser may act as though nothing happened, everything is normal, you know, or they won't even talk about it, or they'll go on about their day like nothing even happened. And that's that's awful, you know. But after that um, is fantasy and planning. Sometimes abuse can be a planned, okay? Um, an abuser sometimes can fantasize or they at least have a mental picture of what's going on. Um, the abuser really thinks about what they're gonna do next, you know? It's, it's terrible. It's all about power and control, okay? And then once they get you and guilt trip you and make you feel bad, you know, you forgive them and the cycle of the abuse um, starts over. And I just want to let somebody know out there, you know, I know how you feel because I used to be in a relationship for a very long time. Well, not long time, but I mean, to me, it was a long time, almost two years of this, you know, and thank God I was able to break free and I have a wonderful life now. And, you know, it took me a long time to know who I am now as a person and I can say that you know I was all messed up on drugs and everything else and I didn't know who I was you know and I thank God because he helped me break free from all kinds of chains of addiction and not only that you know break free from my abusive husband uh, husband not even husband but you know illegally or whatever but I'm so happy now and I know that there's a lot of people in my situation that are trying to break free and they don't know and and really they've probably been in it longer than two years you know could be five six ten years and you could have you know like kids thank goodness i didn't have any kids with uh him but you know regardless of what your situation may be i want you to know that you can you can break free and it's not impossible and you have a life and you know like with my situation i didn't even know who i was because you know, even to the music that I listened to, he didn't want me listening to certain type of music. He tied me going to the grocery store. I mean, he tried to, but it, it, it was crazy. You know, FaceTime me when I was at the grocery store, I was always on edge, you know, and nobody needs to live like that. And a lot of people, you know, they don't understand or they're like, oh, I would never get abused, but you don't know. Um, that's why I don't speak on situations because you never know <clears throat> how a situation is until you live and go through that experience. But, you know, there is hope. You just have to get a plan. You have to make a plan and you have to stick to it. Don't tell anybody that you're leaving, you know, and you have to do this for yourself and not only for yourself, especially if you have kids, because if you're letting them see the environment that you are in and they see your significant other husband, wife, or whatever, you know, abusing you emotionally and physically, slapping you around and everything, calling you all kinds of profane names, you know, that's not good. And, you know, kids are, they see that and, you know, you don't want them to grow up and become abuser themselves, you know, because they say sometimes you can grow up and you can do that because of your environment, you know, but it's just a scary situation and you know i hope this reaches somebody if you are being abused and if you've been in that situation know that there is a good life a happy life for you a happy life because somebody's not going to be controlling you okay i smile i i'm so happy I, yeah i might be single but you know what it i'm so happy where i am in life because i'm getting to know who i am again 
you know, and it's such a good feeling. And I will never be controlled like that again. And, you know, the Bible even tells us in Proverbs, you know, that we're not supposed to do anything. We're not supposed to have relations like with an angry man, you know, and I love the Bible because it gives so much wisdom, but you can do this, you know, and if you're, if you are being abused and you would like someone to talk to, you can feel free to email me. It's in my, um, on my main page, but I hope that this reaches somebody, man or woman, because it doesn't matter. A man doesn't need to be going through this either. You know, and then a lot of those cases with men being abused, it's sad because they don't even want to report it because they're embarrassed. You know what I mean? And, but it happens. But um, thank you for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.